How to Craft a Five-Year Plan Are you tired of years passing by and that you haven't achieved anything great you have dreamed about? That feeling is terrible. Do you want to change your life and make your future really great? Let me tell you of a strategy you can use to finally be glad and happy about your life. To get somewhere, we need a plan. The majority of people do not have a plan. They just make decisions based on what feels correct at the time, without considering the long-term consequences. But in this video, I'll show you why making a plan, especially a five-year plan, is essential if you want to succeed and attain life-changing results. Let's begin. They say that if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. That is why, if you want to achieve success, the first and foremost thing that you must do is create a plan. This is due to the fact that people who plan to take action. Why is this the case? Because people appear to achieve their objectives significantly, more consistently, and confidently than those who do not follow a proven goal-setting approach. Making a five-year plan is beneficial because it positions you to achieve your long-term objectives. It is a method of visualizing and committing to a precise plan for your life over the following years. Planning your next steps might be difficult when you don't know what your year will look like. However, breaking down your life plan into five-year chunks provides for greater clarity and precision. It's difficult to envision what your life will be like in 20 years. There are many what-ifs, but five years does not seem that far away. Five years is a considerable period of time, yet it is not excessively long. It's the perfect balance between being long enough to set objectives and short enough to delay on achieving them. Personally, I create my five-year plan by answering a series of six questions using realistic timelines. Practical deadlines assist you in determining which goals are realistic and which are unrealistic. If you can't write down your responses clearly and precisely on a piece of paper, it suggests you're not truly clear about it yourself. Writing down your responses is also an excellent method to keep track of your progress. I prefer to create personal objectives in four areas. Personal, financial, career, and relationships. So, while deciding where you want to be in five years, ask yourself these following questions. The first thing to ask oneself is, what do I want to alter this year? This question might be answered generically or explicitly. I normally interpret this question to imply, what would make my life simpler or better this year? The response might be as general as wanting to save more or as specific as a quantity you wish to attain in your bank account. Perhaps the answer has nothing to do with money, but rather with creating more time for yourself or working less hours and spending more time with your loved ones. Whatever the answer is, write one for each year of the plan. Next, consider how you want to improve yourself this year. This is a vital component of personal goal setting. In order to be successful in all aspects of your life, you must first take care of yourself. Maybe you want to start a fitness program, get more sleep, or make a nutritional plan. Whatever it is, be sure it is attainable. You would not, for example, desire a strategy to lose 10 kilograms in the following year. Instead, plan the weight loss in smaller, achievable increments. Begin by altering your daily habits, such as beginning a new diet and exercising. The weight loss will thereafter follow. Next, ask yourself how I want to better myself this year. This is a major part of personal goal setting in order to be successful in all areas of your life. It's important to take care of yourself first. Maybe 
you plan on developing an exercise routine, getting more sleep, or creating a diet plan. Whatever it is, make sure that it is realistic. For example, you would not want to plan to lose 50 pounds in the next year. Instead, plan the weight loss in smaller, achievable increments. Start by changing your lifestyle habits, like starting a new diet and exercise. The weight loss will follow. The fourth thing to consider is what measures you need to take to ensure your financial stability. This might be an overview of the stages forward in your career that you want to take. Are you aiming for a promotion? Or are you anticipating a pay raise? Maybe you want to kickstart a new business. Or maybe invest in stocks. At some point, write out the steps you intend to take to get there. You may also sketch out your savings. How much do you even want to save for retirement each year? Even if you don't plan to retire in the next five years, it's a good idea to start thinking about it now. You'll never know when you'll receive your salary after all. The fifth question is, what exciting activities do you wish to do this year? This is my favorite phase of developing a five-year strategy. Would you want to take a tropical vacation? A trek to a mountain? What about a cruise? Or maybe a road trip to your favorite city? Being realistic might be difficult at times, since it's tough to distinguish between dream and reality holidays. It's critical to make some time for yourself to have fun and let off some steam. Making time for yourself should be a priority, just like making time for other things on your agenda. Having something enjoyable to look forward to makes the other stuff worthwhile. The final question to ask yourself is, what goals do I have for my family? If you're single and want to establish a family, you should start planning immediately. Do you plan on having children? How many? If you have children, begin saving for their education. Are you intending to send your children to college? And what school? How are you going to pay for it? This aspect of the strategy is actually motivating and fulfilling since it allows you to make pledges to others. Thus, it drives you more to work and achieve your goals. Now, you must remember to be honest with yourself when writing down your answers. In this way, you will extract accurate information about your goals and are more likely to attain the objectives that you sincerely desire and value. Now, I know that the most difficult element of going forward is usually getting started. So, take action once you've determined your response for each year. Launch yourself toward your objectives and keep going in that direction. Before you know it, five years will have passed and you'll be able to reflect back on all of your accomplishments. Then, you'll be able to say to yourself, glad I took those steps years ago. Now that you know the importance of having a plan, it's time to craft your own. So, grab a piece of pen and paper and start drafting your goals in life. But before you do that, please subscribe to our channel so we can reach more people who might benefit from this information. Thanks for watching and happy planning. Bye.